TitleMatchNetwork.com. Joined by two huge superstars in the sport of professional wrestling. Um, you guys pretty much changed the business big time. And uh, my very first question, <laughs> I don't know who wants to go first, but uh, what do you guys remember about meeting each other back in the day for the very first time? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, we, the, the story of it in your old caddy? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. You can yeah. tell it. You, 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 you screw up. We, we met, um, I, I, what was the first time we met? I remember the first pay per view. When that was Don's debut. That was, was Don and Stead's first pay per view. Yeah, that was uh, St. Pete. And I was, you know, envious because you were getting such a major shove at WCW style. I'd sweep out a little. <laughs> Did you ever see the Oz character? Yeah, yeah, totally. The, you know, the, the, who was uh, Janie with Dorothy? Sullivan was dragging some monkey off the side of the platform. Yeah. Well, that was the first time we met, and then like then he uh, the next set of TVs he was at the uh, at the dungeon where like I don't know what it was called, but it was like Ramada in, in Atlanta. Right. We were going to Macon, and uh, I said I got to drive right by there and pick you up. He goes, "What are you driving?" I said, "I got a Cadillac." He said, "All right, we've been up room." So we got in the car, and I'm going to interrupt both muscle heads too, so we know we're going to train. And eat, you know, yeah. So on the way back, um, I think we stopped, got some beers. No, yeah, must have been your <laughs> idea. Yeah, it was. That's like, it was, I think it was your first beer, as a matter of fact. Yeah, not my last. And uh, so he, uh, we're sitting there, and they were in these this old school cars. We back had a mess of the radio. Of course, now, Kev, what year caddy was it? Uh, this was '86. But you got to remember now, Kev's six eleven and three quarters in his socks. Right. So even in a caddy, his knees are like way up, even with the seat jack back. So, I just want to throw yeah. so, so we actually just switched play, but every he messes with the radio and then feels like this across my leg, you know. And I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I'm, that's probably nothing, you know, just because, like I said, you know, two big guys in front of the car, there wasn't a whole lot of room. Mess with the radio again, reaches across, and I'm thinking, and it's, it's middle of summer, we're both it's hot, right? Right. shorts on. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh man. You know, what was it, the three times? Yeah, and just blatant, just <laughs> and just on his leg, and just down his leg, and he and this is a big fucker. I don't know, this is just a big man. I don't know, and I'm thinking, ooh, this either this is going to be funny and we're going to be buddies, or I'm going to get beat up. Right, and and he just and he just was staring straight ahead, and I'm there, what I go, fag, you're not going to do it. Oh, I said, I was getting ready to have to. I said, I'm like, man, I don't want to pull this car over. <laughs> I just started to like this yeah, guy. That's, that's, I just started to like this guy. Now I figure out we're going to be dating. So That's fun. I guess how quickly did you guys become friends right off the bat? Yeah, because he's a prick and I'm a prick. So it's just like, you know, just, yeah. low paid pricks. Yeah, we were. But at the but same we time, we were making all the towns. Yeah, but we weren't afraid to just watch people's matches and just brutalize them. Yeah, we, we always did monitor and curtain time, even, yeah. even as young boys. Yeah. I but guess then, I'll, go ahead. But then, you know, it was a, a situation where uh, Scott, you know, they weren't doing it with Scott, and he went to New York and got over huge. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, so it was like, you know, one of, one of our guys made it, you know, because back then there was a center stage, there was the star locker room, and there was the, the underneath guys. We used to say the guys making three grand and less a week. That was my next question, actually. How frustrated were you guys when you were in ECW early on? I guess WCW. Yeah, WCW. Uh, not getting the push and all that. I was green. I mean, I knew I needed to get in the ring, but Scott could work. I mean, Scott was. I mean, he could. He could have got over. They just it wasn't. He had heat with Magnum back in the day. <laughs> you know, I did, I did. he had heat with Magnum, so Magnum was in the office. Yeah. You know. Um. I tried to, even though I felt I wasn't being paid. You know, like I was working with guys who made two, three times as much as me. Right. And, and kind of telling them, like leading the match, you know, to, to a degree, as much as I knew at that point. But I tried to take the attitude of, it's still, it was at that point, it's still the most money I'd ever made. And so I said, you know, the fans don't know what I'm making. So I'm going to go out there and act like I'm a big deal. I'm going to try to get over. And because uh, WCW doesn't, doesn't really, the only way they knew how to hold you down was just not put you on TV. 
Right, because they they weren't slick enough like Vince's TV. If they if you do something and you're not supposed to be up here, you do something that puts you up there. You know they know how to hold you down. WCW didn't really know. No. But uh, so he bailed. Scott bailed, and then shortly after that, I, you know, I I bailed, and we both were up in New York together. And then when I got up there, I think the first road trip, me and Sean started traveling together. Yeah, you came into Sean's bodyguard. Yeah, we used to, I had known Scott, and Scott and Sean had already like built an alliance up oh, Yeah, we had all the heat up there. <laughs> we had all the heat up there. I would have definitely. Obnoxious, obnoxiously. Yeah, yeah, when you got up to New York and uh, Scott was already there, did you guys start traveling together right off the bat? Yeah. I mean, the first road trip, we were, you know, and that was back when you still had a, you know, cave brother. So, um, so of course, I'm riding with my boy. Right. We were, we were riding in the car, the three of us are in the car together. It's me, Scott, and uh, Sean. Sean. So we pull into some of the arenas. We all put towels over our head. Just yeah. to, all three of us, not just one guy, all three of us would put towels. That's great. Mm-hmm. What I thought was funny about our angle, like with Sean and even then when you and I wrestled against each other, it wasn't it wasn't a hatred thing. Do you think a feud between the two of you guys in WCW would have been big business? What's that? If you guys would have we feuded against each other. Remember they split us up? It never worked. So it, to, to me, it's like, you know, they tried so many times that, when the Steiners were hot, the Steiner, you know, we had, the thing is, it's like brothers are one thing because they're you know they're, they're born genetically you know to each other and they're, they're brothers by birth, but like best friend buddies, I mean that's by choice. So I mean it's even more. I think it's a, there's more of a bond between two guys like that. We even tried it, it for a little while when we were Razor and yeah, Diesel. Yeah. We we bump in and do the bump in each other, right. turn and, and we tried two or three times and it never worked. Never worked. We went this angle, <laughs> but we. I wrestled tags against you and somebody for, remember I was doing the Hogan slow turnaround that I had stole? Yeah. Remember, remember when Hogan, Giant walked up behind Hogan and Hulk did the, instead of doing, the, instead of doing the turn wrestling speed, Hulk did the, oh, I remember we were at the monitor going, what the fuck? I remember going, turn, you goof, you goof, turn around, turn around. Then he did it so long, I went, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> note to sell. That guy's a fucking genius. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know how good it is. <coughs> but I'm stealing that. Absolutely. So I, we do the thing where it was me and Luger. You well, go. No, one time it was you and like Mang or something, no, or somebody. It was whoever it was. It was me and you, and then two other guys. Yeah. So I'd be in there. I'd get beat up. They and the Bayface would tag you, but I wouldn't get out. And then I, and I just, it's a thing you got to commit to. But it was also because the fans didn't really want to see us fight, but I was doing the drinking thing. And it was like, Kev, come on, straighten him out. So Kev would come in. Yeah, the tough Kev line. would tag and just stand there. And I would look at the heel and go, like I go, oh no, like, and I go, is it this one? Like in Luger, he go, and I go, is it this <laughs> one? He go, and I go, oh, and do the real slow turn. Just the uh, <laughs> boot in the face, power bomb. I remember that. And sit pouring beer on me sometimes as well. Did your friendship ever get strained from when you had problems? Did like your his business ever get affected by it? Did you ever hold Scott or? Uh, no, Kev has been such a true friend to me, and even like even up to recently, until we did that autograph thing in New York, like Kev would call and call and call, and he'll still call. He'll call fifty times. Go. Yeah, well, call again, you prick, pick up the phone. Huh? <laughs> and and I, for so many years, I was struggling with my addiction. I continued to. And, and I always go, well, you know, I'm going to get together, man. I'm going to get together. And I went, you know what? Screw all this talk. I ain't going to talk to Kev. I just want to show up in New York and let him see me because I, I look better than I would did for a while. And you know, I said, I'm just going to show up. And like, but then he, I guess, you know what happened is I did that show in Puerto Rico and everybody started blowing me. Man. Well, what happened was I was sitting at home and my phone, once again, my phone blew up. And like, so like, I'm at dinner time and the phone's gone, phone's gone, phone's gone off. And, and I'm thinking, you know, last time my phone went off like this, it was the Benoit situation. I'm thinking maybe I should pick up my phone. So I pick up my phone and I, I, I pressed, you know, uh, to check my messages. And like two or three different guys were saying, you know, go on YouTube. Scott's on YouTube. So I, you know, get on YouTube. I look it up. And I, see, and I, and I see Scott. And I see that he's, you know, he's in Puerto Rico. And I, see, I can see him jump on the ring, on the, on the ropes. 
and I could see these guys' abs, and I just I got tears in my eyes. So I had we hadn't talked for <laughs> like two months, and I was just like I was just like he's okay because that's all I worry about. But he's okay. I don't you know he doesn't need to say you know hey it's we, better to look good than to feel good. Absolutely. But uh, I was just really happy that we we had a chance to see each other in, in New York, and just like we we had breakfast the next morning, I said. Well, you know, we kind of looked at each other like, hey, you want a horse? You want a whore out for a while? You want to make one, one make a little bit more money? And we just both kind of went, let's do it. So that dude in Frisco is so excited, man. How did he not be? He said, yeah, I think everybody's buying tickets. You want to see outsiders because you guys don't don't make towns. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't making them when we were under contact, bro. <laughs> Free agents no now. Shit. Title Match Network.com.